we've spent more than 40 hours deep diving into Gymshark's marketing strategy, and here are our top five takeaways. Hello everyone, Kate here. Today I'm gonna talk about Gymshark, one of the fastest growing companies in the UK. In just a few seconds, I tell you exactly how Gymshark grew into a $1 billion brand. Takeaway number one is focusing on a well-defined niche market. Gymshark's founder, Ben Francis, spotted a gap in the sportswear market in 2012. There was a lack of sportswear gear for young gym goers that was both affordable and desirable. His key realization was that young people are just as concerned with looking good while they are at the gym as on a date. So he started Gymshark with the goal of creating workout clothes that look cool for a well-defined target market, managing to disrupt the wider fitness industry and established brands like Nike. Takeaway number two is to turn your influencers into brand ambassadors. It's no secret that influencer marketing is a great way to build demand for your brand. From the very start, Gymshark was building long-term relationships with influencers instead of just doing one-off gimmicks. They have an exclusive Gymshark athlete program made up of influencers, and each member of this team is regarded as a family member who uses and truly loves Gymshark products. Getting the attention of Gymshark means aligning with their values and regularly tagging their products. Takeaway number three is creating valuable content that resonates with their audience. Instead of pushing sales-driven PPC campaigns all the time, Gymshark's marketing team focuses on creating awesome content. Their YouTube channel, for example, has almost 400,000 subscribers. Rather than trying to push products in their videos, education and entertainment are the primary goals of their video content. The Gymshark blog is also a masterpiece. From recipes to workout tutorials and beyond, it's a prime example of how e-commerce brand can effectively leverage blogging. Even social ads on Facebook and Instagram look like organic posts that followers and fans can engage with rather than marketing messages that push their products. Takeaway number four is to be strategic about promotions. All right, it's nearly time for the Gymshark Black Friday sale. Up to 70% off Gymshark! Gymshark uses a less is more promotional strategy. Instead of running 10% discounts all year round, they only offer discounts on special occasions and during holiday periods. The only permanent discounts are limited to certain customer segments, just like students. By making sure that discounts are not always available, Gymshark ensures that their customers don't get used to getting 10% off everything. As a result, the brand's perceived value stays strong, and when there is a discount campaign running, it has real impact. Gymshark makes a point to promote their sales weeks in advance to create hype, and also increase fear of missing out among their fans. This teaser for Gymshark's 2020 Black Friday caused a spike of 10,000 followers in a single day. Takeaway number five is to help shoppers make the right decisions. Beyond building a very supportive community, Gymshark goes out of its way to help both new and returning customers find the right products as soon as they land on the site. Gymshark's product pages are super comprehensive in terms of highlighting what customers will get, high quality images and gifts show exactly how their products function during a workout. Interactive elements such as their Fit Finder, give shoppers some peace of mind as they compare items. And whenever they add a new product to their shopping carts, Gymshark automatically recommends other styles as well to complete their order. Gymshark's growth might seem impossible to imitate, but believe me, these tactics can be useful for both big and small brands alike. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, Share and subscribe for more actionable videos. I see you in the next one.